different purposes. They're not all just canoes, although they are in terms of their name, but in their purpose they're not. You can have a whitewater canoe, which is built explicitly for going on rough, rocky, whitewater rivers. You can have a dual purpose or a recreation canoe, which is pretty much what this one is right here. Or you can have a lake canoe, which is built more for going on smooth water like we have this one that we were just looking at, that 17 footer, okay? Now the differences are the shapes of the hull, the length, and then one other factor, if we pick this one up here, you can see it. If you look from where Mr. Hadorn's hand is to where my hand is, the bow to the stern, this boat has a little banana bend to it. This way, okay? That's called the rocker. And a boat that's flat, this boat is flat over here. This boat has only a one inch rocker, which means the difference between the middle of the boat and the ends is only one inch. So it's fairly flat. This boat has a three and a half inch rocker. This is about a two to two and a half inch rocker. Think about that in terms of something floating in the water. Which one of those would be the easiest to turn, do you think? Rocker. The one with the larger rocker, right, because your ends are up a little bit, more navigable. We have more rocker, we also have rounded sides. So this boat over here, the short 15 footer, this is more of a river boat. This is more of a easy to navigate, turning river boat, avoid rocks, go through the rapids. This is a middle of the road. It can do what that one does, maybe not quite as easily, but still not, not much difference. And it can also serve like this one in a little quieter water. This is hard to keep going straight unless you're really good at paddling. This one's much easier to keep going straight. It's longer and it's flatter. So there's different kinds of canoes that way.